Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daychuk with Queen Bee Creations. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to do a little, little fun, cute, outdoor decor kind of idea. So I love these little mini birdhouses from the dollar store. And I've had these for a while and I've been meaning to do something with them. And today's the day. So first up, I'm going to grab a paintbrush and we are going to paint them out. Now I'm going to paint them three different colors just because. So I have three colors from DIY, clay-based paint. One is Apothecary, which has got to be probably one of the most popular colors, um, which is this soft kind of green. I have Cake Batter, which is kind of a a soft, creamy, vanilla cake kind of, well, hence the name, I guess, cake batter, okay, and Old 57. So, first things first, I am going to paint them out, um, this one, in Apothecary. I am not going to paint the roofs, 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 I'm not going to paint the top. It's like, what's the plural of roof? Roofs? Roofs? Okay, where's Google when you need them? All right, guys, you're, you're probably answering. I can't hear you. But I'm going to grab some um, dark and decrepit, and I'm going to give them dark and decrepit tops and bottoms. But the rest I'm going to paint out. So we've got a little bit of color happening. And um, so yeah, dead easy. Buy these little suckers and uh, just paint. While my little birdhouses are drying, um, I'm kind of in, in the interest of keeping in the same vein. I did pick up this other birdhouse from Dollar Store. So I might as well do something with that. Now, it also, like these ones, has a pull tab, right? I'm going to get rid of that because only two of my little ones have it. And I, and I tried, I tried just pulling it out and that, that didn't work. I didn't even know these came apart. So I just want to push it down in, right? So that one's gone and I'll deal with the other one. What I want to do is fill the hole back up. Um, it seems silly that I took something out just to put something back in, but we're going to put some wood filler into that hole. And I'm gonna do this for the two little ones. This one already had a little eye hook in it. That's what I'm gonna put in these other ones. This one I'm not putting anything in. It doesn't need an eye hook. I just wanted the top to not have a hole. So we'll come back to that guy. These guys, I'm going to fill the hole. And I'm gonna take a little eye hook. I have two little ones down here. Perfect. And I'm gonna stick an eye hook down in there. And I'm hoping that the wood fill holds it in place, which way you go that way. So you might as well do all of them going the same direction. So I'm hoping that that holds them. If tomorrow when I come in and that um, wood filler has dried and it's not holding it, I will just hot glue them in place. Okay, so just because I had it out to fill that hole I figure I might as well try it for these ones. If it doesn't work for these guys, um, because it just doesn't support the eye hook, then I'm okay. I will hot glue them in place. So, this guy, this guy. Um, we're not gonna do the same thing with it, but because, because I had them, I couldn't leave them alone. But before we paint them, here's what I wanna do. I want to, all right, so 
I'm going to glue this. All right, so this is just like a finial. I think that it's the end of like a curtain rod. It could be a foot, but it was rounded on the end, usually at the feet are flat. This was rounded. I sanded it flat because what we're going to do is this. Okay, nice I have my glue gun sitting over my table and not over my plastic mat. So it's dribbling all over there. Sometimes, sometimes I worry about me. All right, so I'm gonna stick a whack of hot glue. That's a technical term, whack. <laughs> um, enough to hold that in place on top of my little mini terracotta pot because then we are going to glue this on top of that. Okay, so that's why I needed that to be um, a little bit flatter and not so round. And then we're gonna glue that sort of centered and let it dry. I'm then going to paint this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint all of the wood part and the spindle and the pot all the same color so I want to make this part uniform with this so this is just going to be separate now what was I thinking of color I thought that I had color oh yes okay this is what I was thinking I want to mix a color. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Did I bring something to mix it in? No, no, of course not. Okay, I'll pour that water out. So I thought I would try. I'm gonna take some aviary from DIY. Okay, you should be enough. And some Queen Bee from DIY. If anybody's wondering, these first in, first out bottles, these FIFO bottles, um, I had at one point been transferring all of my paint into them. And um, I saw everybody using them. I thought it was a good idea. I don't like that idea. So now I just have old paint in here. It doesn't squeeze out, that dries out, it plugs up. Um, so, you know, maybe you have them and you love them. It's way too much cleaning for me. So, I don't like them. And I'm slowly getting rid of them. <laughs> I just thought it would be cool to do um, kind of a bright sort of chartreuse -y kind of color and I'm gonna add a little bit more Queen Bee and take that up just a tinch more because you know what Why not? sometimes sometimes it's cool on small projects to make up colors see what they're gonna be like that you would never want to use on a whole big project. So this is not going to be a color that I would necessarily want to, um, that I would not necessarily want to use on an entire dresser. It's kind of this really funky green, but for a project like this, it could be fun because why not? Why not have fun? So again, I'm going to paint the whole schmozzle this. I still have a little bit of the old 57 on this brush, but that'll be okay. Look at the green. Okay. So I'm going to get this all painted up. I don't have to worry about the roof because we, we want to leave that lovely tin. And then, then we'll regroup and see what we got. Now that our little houses have dried, it is time to paint them up. 
well, not paint them up, but finish the painting. So we're gonna do two things with this. First of all, I'm going to, <laughs> bit of a string happening there. All right, so first of all, I'm going to finish painting them out with the dark and decrepit. So this works as a wood stain and it is self-sealing, it's a top coat. So I'm not gonna have to do anything else to that section. But where I've painted, I am gonna want to take some um, top coat. So I'm gonna use the uh, DIY Big Top for this and just cover over where I've painted. So for each of these, I'm gonna paint the roof, I'm gonna paint the base, and then the tiny little bird perch that I left open. So I'm gonna get all of those painted out and um, the top coat added so that the paint is sealed. And uh, then, then we'll take a look at what we're gonna be doing with them. Now that everything's dry, just wanna show you the direction we're going. So I got this piece of driftwood, happened to be living close enough to the lake here on Lake Ontario that uh, I just go down periodically and pick up some interesting pieces so I have some lying around the shop. So what I did do was I took two eye hooks and I put them on the one side and then I took three smaller ones and I inserted them on here. And I just left this one ready. This one's only partially twisted in. You know where you get to the point where it's starting to hurt your fingers to twist it in further? simple trick, I, you, you guys probably know this, but I just insert something, the end of a paintbrush, and then I just turn it until, oops, until it's inserted as far as I need it to go. So, these two at the top. Um, so you need to have either like some rope or, or string that's gonna fit in there. I happen to have, again, $1.25 from the dollar store, this burlap wrapped wire. So I just thought it'd be a little hardier and it's in kind of the natural tones. And then I don't have to worry about whether it's too big to fit through the hole and all that kind of stuff. So I am just simply going to insert it and then wrap the ends around my wire. Until we have a good little length. And then this becomes my hanger. And I just really envision this being a cute little decor piece, you know, hanging from a tree up in, you know, the branches somewhere and, you know, just kind of cute. So what we need to do is to attach our little houses. And what I want is them to be kind of hanging at different lengths. You know, I don't want it to all be, the flyers go, all be the same. So I'm just gonna wire them up exactly the same way. And because we put those eye hooks into the top, It's gonna be super easy. Look how cute those are with the brown. So I'm just gonna finish wiring these up and then come back and show you the finished little project. Just super cute, fun, dollar store, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our projects. First, I just wanna show you this little guy. So all I did was I took that same dark and decrepit. I was painting out the little bird perch and I just did a couple little bandings to make it a little bit more interesting. I think this is super cute. It, it looks like so much more than a little pot and a piece of, uh, piece of a finial off of some kind of a curtain rod and a dollar store um, birdhouse. But I think that the idea with this, I think would be super cute if you made a series of them. You know, maybe um, took these same little ones that we did for, that, for the hanging project and you use little candlesticks, little little pieces of wood, you know, like a little round piece of wood, made them all different heights, and you could create almost like a little garden fairy village, which I think would be super cute if you have kids. Um, 
and they could be visiting the, gar the, the little village every day and that kind of thing. So I think that this could, um, I mean, it's cute on its own, but I think if you had multiples or you just created a whole little staged um, tableau out in your, your garden somewhere, I think that would be super cute. This idea, um, again, I think is just kind of cute, having hanging up in your garden somewhere from a tree. I like having little things that um, people just kind of discover as they're maybe going out and enjoying some of your, um, your florals or your garden, and then all of a sudden they just notice this uh, hanging somewhere and just kind of perking up. Yeah, you know, adding a little bit of interest in something cute, maybe a little bit whimsical. But again, all from uh, dollar store items, the wires in the dollar store, uh, the flower pots from the dollar store, certainly the little, uh, the little um, birdhouses are from the dollar store. So I hope that this gives you just a couple of cute little ideas that you could do for your backyard, add a little bit of whimsy, something cute nestled into a tree or... Um, in a flower bed somewhere. That's likely where mine are going. Hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And until then, take care. <laughs>